my channel so in this video we're going to be learning about we're going to be learning about what is a class what is an object what is a method okay let me switch into my screen view good so first we're going to learn about class concepts and we're going to do them at the same time you can also say because we'll just get started okay I'll just open a random file for now. Oh, I don't know. I will not. I will not. Okay. We'll create a new package. Okay. We'll create a new package. We'll call it um, class concept. Uh, we just name this main like normal. Okay, nice. Now we'll get started off with one thing. Okay, so whatever you write outside of this is called class level okay class level whatever you write inside this is called local okay it's called local or method level i'll teach you what a method in a few minutes in this lesson okay of course i am and now you can declare anything here. You can declare a variable. You can declare a um, array type, array, uh, array list. Just like what you can do in main, you can, but you can't do some stuff. Like you can declare. You can only declare. You can't do operations in class level. You can only declare no um, doing. You can only declare. You can't do anything there. One stuff you want to do, you can do them in methods. Not only in main method, you can do them in other method. Okay, I'll teach about the method thing later. I'll just create, uh, I'll declare something here. I'll declare int i, okay? You can also say it's equal to 10. You can also say something, something, it doesn't matter. Or some people just leave it like this and declare the stuff inside the method, of course. Some people do that. Okay, I'm going to write int i inside here. What am I getting? No error. This is just um, nothing, guys. Just forget about that. Okay, that's not error. We're not getting no error. Why is this? If I declare int i in the... Thing, right if I declare in tie what am I getting sorry enter what am I getting I'm getting an error because you cannot declare the same variable again and again you can assign values you can change the value you can't declare it again yes you can't do that in method level or local but you can do that in class so i'm not saying um you can write entire over here again and it'll work no i'm saying one entire can be here one entire can be here it can't just be entire string seven not not string seven string hash or something string name anything i'm talking about variable and the reference name so we call it this re re variable right variable name some people also call it reference name okay I can also declare an array here, an array list. It doesn't matter. But you can't say system that out dot print Helen or stuff like that, okay? This is just a declarative part, so you can create variables and stuff like that. We can't use stuff you can just create. But you want to use stuff, right? You want to use stuff. That's where object creation comes. I'll show you one thing. I'll show you one thing quickly. 
Now I declared I here, right? I declared I here. I want to use it here. I'll, can I just go and say S Y S O? I. Now there is no such thing as I. You might be like, no, what are you talking about? Have you used this I right in front of your eyes? But no. I'll tell you one thing. Class level and local level are not connected in any way unless you link them using an object, okay? Objects are really, really, really important. They are like the most important thing in Java. If you don't have them, you can't do much stuff. So you need to really focus on them. Now I'm telling you how to, I'm not telling you how to create an object Right, I'm going to tell you how to do it now. <clears throat> to create an object, listen to this really careful, guys. To create an object, you need to write first the name, first this main, or first the class name, what you want to use, okay? The class name, what you want to use. What is my class name? It's main here. It's main. Main. You might be wondering, yo, Havish, no, there's loads of mains here. You might pick any of them. No, it won't. They're all in different packages, right? They're all in different packages. That means they're all split up. Okay, that means they're all split up. If there's another class in this and you want to use all the methods in the class, I'll tell you what's method, so just keep that in mind, just bear that in mind, don't think of it much, just remember it. If there's another method in that class I want to use, I want to create an object, or if there's a variable, is there a class variable, I want to just use it from another class, in the it should be in the same package, just remember that, okay? Then I create it for uh, maybe the class name is um, high or something. Then I'll say not main. I'll say high because the class name is high, not main. First, let's focus on main, okay? Main. We wrote main. Now we want a reference name, right? We want to like call main somehow. We want to use main. So uh, we can give anything like a variable. O B J. You know when I was teaching you about array lists and hash maps, I was saying this is an object, not something like that. Yes, because <coughs> we're importing the class from somewhere. So imports can be used like to get stuff from another package, which I might be teaching in this class. Yes, I am going to teach you that in this class. Okay. Okay, object is equal to, what is this going to be equal to? I want this equal to new. You need to write new. I want this to be equal to new main. Current exact spelling as the top, M-A-I-N. You need brackets without no space, then a uh, semicolon. That's it, it's created. But don't forget the new part and all of this. This is really important. And in the upcoming sessions, I'll be teaching you what, what you can put in this bracket. Why is it used for? Okay. Before, yeah, okay, let's continue. Now, I want to use this int i, right? You created an object of this. How do I access it? Do I just go say system.r.printl and i? No, no, no. You need to do one more thing. Which is S Y S O. You did that perfect. Now O B J <coughs> object the name. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> o B J right. We kept O B J as a reference name, so we can access all of this main stuff. So we're going to use the exact reference name here. You can create infinite amount of um, um, objects and do you have enough space on your hard disk of course okay and you can use them um, 
yeah now um can i just print this out and i get a value of i no guys it's going to be millions of variables here not millions but there's going to be a lot of variables here int j int x you can declare multiple stuff in this class right class level so how do i access it i put a dot this is the correct time I should tell you what a dot does, okay? A dot. So, first you have class, then you have a method, right? Then you have a method. You want to call it. So, don't, for, don't like, get confused of the method thing right now. Okay, sorry. One second. Uh, I'll just pause and go. There's some random noise coming. Okay. Well, it's not a weird song, sound. It was just my mum's phone buzzing. Uh, it wasn't silent, so yeah. And, yeah. What I was talking about, yeah. First there's a class. Then there is a... What is it? A method, right? Or a variable. So you put dot to say... I'm going to go underneath it. I'm going to go underneath object to find my stuff you just put a dot eclipse is like really good and it just gives you all of these options so it will detect and see all of these options uh, all of these options you can't see all of this you never created all of this here but they're just like java automatically creates them java automatically creates them without us seeing it you can say it does it background in the background no, it automatically said I, there's I, 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 right? What do you think we're going to get? We're going to get 10, really nicely. 10, wow. You can, uh, I'm going to declare another variable just for fun over here. Int j, int j is equal to another 10, okay? I want to add both of this. You can just normally go and say uh, J. It'll get added and you'll get 20. So concatenation also works like this. You get 20 over here, right? Concatenation also works like this. String con concatenation works like this. Booleans also work like this. You might be wondering how you add booleans and get another value. Um, there's like this boolean chat true true is equal to true or uh, something true false is equal to false false true is equal to false or something i don't I exactly remember it uh, but yeah you can search for a boolean table it's really simple so go and check it out and uh, yeah that's how you create an object and use it and i was talking about this method thing what is a method how do you create a method so i'll just quickly tell you what the method what a method is this is a whole method uh it's a this is a main method this is really useful it's really main method is really useful i mean you can only do this with main method of course is that you can print stuff out you can print stuff out only and only on main method okay you can only do that on main method unless you do some savage tricks on java 6 which is like a really deprecated version you can say or some trash companies are using it no offense to them but they are but everyone's on java 8 nowadays so yeah like basically every new java version has some new improvements and stuff java 6 is really old and yeah okay so i'll create quickly tell you three types of method let's just see how long this was it was just 14 minutes no hurry let's go slow so i'll tell you three types of methods do i create the comment three types of um methods not comments what am i talking about three types of methods okay so one type number one is equal to what is number one is equal to one is the first one is it's just simple you might not be understanding this but you will 
quickly just in this lesson is that he, I'll show you how you create a method. A simple number first type is simple method. Oh, no, no, I'll write it. Okay, first one is just a simple method which does not have any input or output. Output I'm talking about is a um, return. Return, I'll tell you right in this session. Don't get confused about it. Okay. I'll show you how to create type 1 quickly. So, you have public. Or you can have public or not. Public. Some people will say private. You can put public, private. Uh, there's a processicated or something. There's a few more types. We will be talking about them in the next lessons, not direct, but they're going to be sort of indirectly teached because there's no separate topic for that. Okay, then you can put void because this void means that you're not returning anything. You, you're telling it, you, I'm not going to return anything. So you can just um, forget about me returning. It's just telling you that. No, you might be like, I want to not, um, re want to return some value. I'll show you that in a second. Just wait. Okay, public void. <coughs> public void. You give your method name. You give your method name. I want to give my method name and one just for fun. You can give it anything on your priority basis. Then you put brackets. Then you put this. This near nearly looks like um public static void main thing, right? But um, this public static void is type 3, which I'll be showing you in a second. Okay, that's this. And um, that's like normal. You can have system.out.printinet, so yes, sir. I'm going to print out, I, I did something here. I told you this like, Three seconds ago, guess what I'm gonna get? Guess what output I'm gonna get? Um, okay, I gave you some time. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna get. We're gonna get um twenty. Just gonna get twenty. We're not gonna get high. What did I tell you when we're using um when we're using not main when we're writing methods outside and we're trying to print something out? It won't print out unless you use the method inside the main method, okay? Main method is used for utilizing stuff. This is this is creating more useful, it's creating useful stuff. So you don't write a bunch of code here, like useless. Um, like, you know, if you write a bunch of code here, people say your code is not, um, you know, your code is really sophisticated or something. It's not really smooth. Your code is not really smooth, but when you do when you do use methods, then they say your code is really smooth and like nice to understand and stuff. So if you use methods, it will have a really nice standard. Nice. Now let's type. Let's learn about type two. So there's actually type four types you can say four types, but let's just cut down to two. Yeah, let's say four types actually. Yeah, let's say four types. I'll show you how you do type two. <clears throat> public okay void m i want to say m2 now if you give m1 again you're going to get error because uh in even in class level if you give same um reference st variable stuff references then you get out of it so what is this i'm just saying what is this public void tell me just tell me it's a method okay it's a method Well, actually, I'll call this AC. You'll understand. This is not like science AC. Um, it's just a short form for something. Okay. Well, how does this look like? How does this look like to you? Exactly like this with a different name, right? With a different name. Different name does not change the type, of course. If there is like that, then you have infinity type, right? Um, it's like really not so good and now in this AC 
I mean AC as an add calculator or calculator add or you can just say ADD add addition okay in this I want to do some addition I'll get into the point after two seconds or something int i okay i want int i to be int i to be declared and i say declare int i in the class level i told you it doesn't matter in the matter in the um method level same concept happens here because this is a method main is also a method but java recognizes this main somewhat special because it has this string array arg um then that's sort of special and takes it away to and does some good stuff with it and so you can get stuff printed out on your console int so what is this int i want int i to be equal to something right i want this int j equal to be some sorry some 20. I add this stuff up, okay, I'll add this stuff up quickly. S Y S O. Hmm. S Y S O, what should I write inside? We'll say I plus J. Okay, I plus J. What we're gonna get, we're gonna get nothing unless we use it, of course, but just think this we use this in the main method what we're gonna get we're gonna get 30 right but but now um i want this to be dynamic i want this to be dynamic so the user does not go down here and changes the value every time i want the user to change the value in the when they start to, when they're starting to use it when they're using it like i I start, I come here and I start to write some, I just start to use add, but then I realize that I don't, I can't do it dynamically. I need to go down and change the values again if I want to like add different numbers. But if you don't want to do that, there's this really simple thing um, everyone uses and it's called the input you want to give this some input then you get um input you get input then you don't get output there's two types of output system dot print and you can say and return okay two types um we're just going to use the simple one system dot print which you shouldn't actually call um output because it's not an output you're just printing stuff out okay then you can call this output as well. No, you can't. Okay, so this is not, don't call it output. And now I want to keep this dynamic. So I go inside both of these brackets, okay, these brackets. Then I can declare stuff here. I can literally declare stuff in here. Int i, okay, then I can declare int j. You just need a comma to be separated them. So you don't need to write equal to or end here. You just want to declare what variables you want to use. And you need to give the variables in the same order. Okay, same order. Okay, now you're getting error because there's already some int i's and j's declared. So let's screw this stuff up. Now you can just simply say int i plus j is equal to some random value you're going to print out i want to use this value i want to use this i want to show you how this practically is used okay i'll save this because you need to save it when you want to use something from an object that's why it's uh, object dot you also get this add how did i get this i just try to think okay all of this is inside this class we created a variable uh, an object for this class then you can use all the methods as well right it's in the class level it's in the class level you can do that uh, okay you might be wondering Havis, this code is coming before the main method how is the compiler going to know java compiler does not go like how we read the text and understand it it goes like a bit weird 
down to up, up to down. I'll try to like compile it twice, down to up, up to down, and it will understand down up. Or well, yeah, down up. Um now oh, I wanna give some value for J. I not J. Oh, this in J already declared here, forget about it guys, okay? Um I wanna give some ten. You can also give a variable here that you already declared, but you can also do this, of course. I mean, um, okay, yeah, because it's good. Should I tell you why it's doing this? Because we're already printing something inside it. We don't need all of this, okay? I was just trying to see, like, how you react. Okay, then you're done with this, you're done with this, you're going to get 30. You're going to get two values, of course, 20 and 30, uh, because of this nonsense. I'll just remove that if you want to really not do that. Uh, okay, I'll give a 5 here, then you'll get 35. 35, nice. Okay, and that's the second type we understood, and we are done with second type. We're going to go to third type. Okay, what is the type public? I'm going to use the same add thing now as well, because I want to show you. And there's this thing called, like, you can do this thing in Java. You can give the same... um method name but it can have some different value now um I, w I don't want to just not return anything so i want to return something so you give a data type over here or a class you'll understand why i'm saying a class in a few uh, lessons or well, not even a few lessons like after after this course ends and i start a new course you need java for you'll understand then or maybe you will understand like right away Okay, I want to um get yeah, add add. Am I getting an error over here? Am I getting an error over here? One. Yeah, cause cause I need to return stuff. Uh, Java compiler gets really mad for something when I straight away don't return something. So just ignore it for a while. You after you write your code, you return. Return should be the last command or the thing you write inside the method, okay, when you're returning something. I want to um, do the addition thing, exact addition thing. So I want to write int i, int i is equal, int i, just comma, in j, comma. Okay, this looks like a duplicate for it, so I'll just say so int h and um, int l one second re so i'm going to use return here r e t u r n return i want to say i want to return h plus you can return stuff like this. You can do operations and return stuff, or you can just return a variable. It's yours. Okay, and okay. Yeah, for some reason, it just needs a different thing here. I'm going to give short, or you can also give long, um, as your wish, long, okay, long, um, L, oh, forget about this long man, okay, let's just give, um, long, that will be short enough. Okay, let's just give short. It's getting really mad. 
Okay, well, maybe I was not doing the concatenation properly or something. Yeah, you need to go in front. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> now, I'm returning stuff something. Now, that's how return works. You can return anything. You can return a class. You can also return an object as well. Okay, you will understand why we can return an object in the after this course ends or maybe in this course as well. Um that those are three types of um methods. Guys, methods are really helpful. You can do really, really interesting things with methods, so don't forget um to use a method like to remember the method structure and stuff. Because if you forget the method structure, methods are really important. Whatever project you do, try to utilize the method concept and the object concept as much as you can. And try to create different classes as well as much as you can. But try to make them not so too many different, like, um, you know what I mean? Don't create some random uh, classes for no reason, okay? So trying to be like good inside creating stuff and stuff, okay? Hopefully you understood this concept, how object works, what's class level, how methods are created. Um, guys, I know people are going to be really confused all about this. I know people are going to have questions. So I'll tell you one thing. Just if you have even a small doubt, you try to try to figure it out yourself. If you really can't, or if you like out of ideas, then um, I'll tell you one thing. Um, go back to the lessons, try to understand stuff, come back or something. Or, you know, like you're really strong, you know everything, like you're really strong, you know that, and you know everything perfectly, but you're not understanding. Then come back to me, ask me in the blogs. Um, Ask me in the comments if they're turned on, but the turning Google's turning. I mean, yeah, YouTube's turning it off. It's really annoying. So go to blogs, answer me. Um, I got no response, but people are watching it. So yeah, send me assignments and stuff. I want to look at them. That would be really appreciated. And you know, I was talking about some other assignments. Um, I'll give you all the assignments. I'll give you the link. I don't know where I'm exactly going to post assignments. Um the note of the assignment so just search in the description um i'll give you like um java assignments link for arrays and for loops i guess also or maybe just arrays and array list uh, okay try to figure it, this stuff out yourself um got any question research ask me try to do yourself Okay, it's the end of the lesson. Bye, guys. End of the lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. So, next video. Please do like, share, and subscribe.